So then that leads to my next question, which I love, especially with writers, is rituals. What sort of rituals do you have around writing? Rituals. If you're not uh, drinking while you're writing, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Other, other Do you have a certain getting... location? Do you have a certain? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have an office that I that I work out of uh, primarily. Um, that uh, it's really just me and uh, another guy that, that works for me, um, and uh, it's just like a quiet place to, to go. Because... Like an assistant you have? Uh, yeah, yeah. He actually started off as my assistant. Now he's kind of like you know doing a little bit more like where he's like writing scripts that I'm producing. And he oh, like, cool. Yeah, and he like uh, you know has creative ideas and stuff like that. So you have a, you have an internship program at your. Yeah, at your writing a, men, a, men, a mentorship yeah yeah he does, he's a jack of all trades he he uh he, he uh makes my dinner reservations then also gives me notes in my scripts that's hilarious um, but uh but yeah in terms of rituals like you know nothing like too hard and fast i mean the rituals are, are sort of more like for my day in general like i try to get up and you know i try to take a walk i try to drink some water you know sometimes i meditate kind of helps a little bit um get out of my head a little bit um and then I just try to be like in a good mood, you know. Like I, I, I think the, the the hardest thing to write is when you're when you're like worried about something or or angry about something or preoccupied. So I try to like you know clear out some space and get all the things I need done, and then and then I hop in and I'm just focused on the on the writing. That's that's an interesting idea. That reminds me of like the arts in high school where they're like leave your high school drama at the door and just come sing. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well. You the know, art is better when you're when you're just focused on that. Yeah, when you're happy, you know, when you're in a good mood, it's a lot. You know, I'm writing comedy. You know, it's a, right. It's a lot easier to write funny things and uh, things that are fun when you're feeling loose and you're feeling fun. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I just try to I listen to music sometimes. I, I have a I have a trampoline in my office that I oh, jump on sometimes. Oh, I was picturing a big one for a second. It's like a small one, right? Yeah, no, no, it's giant. No, no it's like, the whole the you whole, have a tramp room where it's just... well, the whole office is built on a trampoline. <laughs> That's... So, so it's when you walk in, it's a it's all trampoline. Um, What's and... that indoor trampoline park? That's yeah, what yeah. I was just picturing. It's you have to sign a waiver because yeah. a lot of people get injured when they come in. But no, I have like a little one of those little circular like uh, sure. things you can buy at like uh, you know Dick Sporting Goods, right, right. fifty bucks because i saw that uh documentary with tony robbins and oh yeah, yeah. He always jumps on that thing and i like saw it the first time i was like this is ridiculous what is this guy doing and then by the end of the documentary i was like on amazon I was, like, i'm buying one of those so i uh, yeah like when i'm when i'm like stuck or if i'm tired or whatever i just jump on that thing and jump around and it's just like uh you know a lot of times when you're you know blocked creatively or blocked mentally it's kind of good to do something physical like, yeah if you can get out i'm of a big head, walker yeah. yeah you walk you know you you sweat, you know, like sometimes I'll, I'll go work out, but, but the trampoline is always like the little, the little, uh, you know, go to if, right. if I need a, need a little pick me up. So, so you, you always write in your office. You're not like a coffee shop writer. You have an office specifically for writing. That's what you associate yeah, I mean, writing that's, with. That's primarily where I do, do my work, but I can do it. You know, I, I've, I can write in different places. I can write on planes or in hotels or in you can write on planes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It depends on like where it depends on if I'm alone, you know, if I'm with my kids, I'm not getting any writing done. Um, but, um, if I'm alone, yeah, I can, I can write on plants. Cause it's like, you're like in a little, uh, little portal. Oh no. See, I'm so particular about my setup and yeah. it's like, if I got to bend my neck down to look at what I'm writing, it's just like, yeah, 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 it's not comfortable. Yeah. I mean, I, I typically get all my work done in the office, but, um, but yeah, as the years have gone on, I've gotten a lot better at being like not particular or precious about where I'm, where I'm at because you can kind of. I don't know. You can kind of fall into that trap of like, I need it just this. Maybe summer. that's why I suck. Yeah, yeah I, need, writing. I need the the air conditioning <laughs> on at this temperature. I need this song, and it's like you know, you're you're kind of creating too many obstacles to kind of doing it. That's a, that's an interesting thought though, because I feel like I am I have been precious about my writing before, and mm-hmm. I've been trying to get away from that, mm-hmm. but I've never th- realized that in fact I am precious about how I go about writing, and that could well, be a problem. Well, it's funny. It's interesting you say that because I, I find that like. Um, people who do it for a living are like kind of the least precious about it you know they're right like, yeah, this is what we do we gotta yeah. do it you know like we'll do it here i'll do it there i'll do it in the car you know we'll just sit down and think of stuff you know it's not right like, um you know it's always funny when when uh, you, you meet people who who are like starting out they're always using these like terms like inciting an incident and like we need like uh you know like this is the dark uh, you know night of the soul you know, right stuff like that and then when you work with like you know professional writers who are really good they're just like we need something to happen here we need this guy to do that like, we need some bad shit to happen here. You know, like, they're not, like, as, like, uh, you know... Industry terms or Yeah, whatever. yeah, they're just... Uh, it's a little bit um, looser. Yeah. Um, because, uh, I don't know, I guess they're more used to doing it or something. I'm not sure. Haven't you written most of your movies with uh, Andrew Cohen, is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so is he in the office with you or is are you guys well, the yeah. type that assign each other parts and put them together? Yeah, well, you know, actually we we aren't writing together anymore. We wrote like a bunch of movies together. We wrote like na- both the neighbors and Mike and Dave and we wrote the house. Okay. Um, and now we're actually working working Oh, yeah. interesting. He's more focused I think on the directing and the writing and stuff. And oh, okay. I'm I'm, uh, I'm writing. So uh, I'm in the office. I'm I'm there by my by gotcha. myself now, yeah. When you guys did write together, were you in the same room or were you, were you guys assigning parts like yeah, Tom we, Lennon we, does and stuff? Yeah, we did uh, different ways. A lot of times what we would do is when we would write the first draft, we would split it up. So it would be like, I'll take the first act, you take this. Or right. you know, like, uh, you'd be like, I really like this sequence. I'm going to write that one. I'm really into this part. I'll do that. And then we would just, you know, write it separately really fast and then yep. smash it all together in a document and then get in the same room and go like, okay, this, uh, this is, this, none, none of this makes sense. Right. Let's, now Clean now it up, let's fix it. Paste you know, the like, edges. Yeah, in. yeah. But it's, it was always... And the same thing I do now is the first draft is always like, let's see how fast I can do this. That's fun. Just just to go, just to, you know, you just call to it, have something. Call it the vomit pass. You know, yeah. The vomit draft where you're you have an outline and you're you're basically trying to get the script done as fast as possible because you know it's not going to be good. Right. And it's not going to make sense. And so you want to just get to the end and then you can actually make it good. Did you find hypothetically? Fu- right, right, right. There's probably and people the- listening to this being like, it's never good. Buddy. Right. <laughs> I saw your last movie. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, though, too. It's like the hardest part is getting it done. So once you have it done, you feel like you, you overcame the biggest hurdle or whatever. Oh, totally. Yeah. Sorry, I got ice in my mouth. Oh, um, I thought there was your gum. I'm, I'm, not, like, I'm clearly not used to doing podcasts. Um, you brought your own it, ice or is that my is ice? Is it good to chew ice while you do a podcast? Um, Did you bring your own ice? I brought my own ice. Yeah, I, I travel with ice. I have, uh, you got an ice machine in your car? Yeah. Uh, yeah and a margarita well, machine? Well, it's actually in the office on top of the trampoline. It's, it's really hard to get the ice out of there. Um, but yeah, I mean, finishing is the whole thing. I mean, that's what I always say. Like, you know, I go back to the college I went to at Georgetown and I speak to the students every now and again. And, and uh, the thing I always say to people that want to write professionally is the, the best thing that you can do is just finish things. You yeah. Know, because a lot of the, the biggest difference between amateurs and professionals is, is like a, a pro will, will finish the script even if he knows it's not working. Right. And, and you know, he or she'll go back and fix it. You right. Know? But uh, that was the biggest hurdle when I was first starting out. It's like you get to a part where you're in the middle and you're like, oh, I don't know how to finish this. This isn't good. You get paralyzed and you stop. Um, but what I do now is when I get in the middle and I'm like, oh, this isn't good. I don't know how to finish it. I just finish it. Yeah. And, uh, and then I go back and try to figure out what, what was working and what, what wasn't. That's you know? great advice. You know, so just finish stuff, guys.